Hello, this is Vealer, and welcome to the finale of Space Quest 3, The Pirates of Pestulon. Last time, we escaped from Sconesoft, and are apparently being attacked. Um, kind of slowly, but we're being attacked. And the only way to save them is shields, and hoping I don't accidentally turn them off. Since apparently if you hit the button the second time, it'll turn it off. Which I did not know. Should I keep a running tally of how many episode or how many attempts I make of this? I'm only showing a clean one, but this is the second time, actually. <laughs> For I should say after the last episode. I I'm, I'm no shame. I ain't screwed. Oh, like that. Oh crap. Okay, I'm not <gasps> freaking myself out a bit too much. Oh crap, we lost him. <laughs> and I said, you got a limited amount of shields. I think you have to take out five of these guys to win. <laughs> and you'll see your shields slowly deplete. I don't see why I can't just move my tracker wall. There we go. I'm going to hit the front. And now in the back. Why can't they just all fly into my radar? And die. Oh, that one was quick. <laughs> that was pretty nice. Alright, we are getting this. We are doing well. For me. I'm horrible at this part. If you couldn't tell. And back in the front. Yeah, you can kind of see our shield slowly depleting there. It's a little less green. We're in the rear. Fire! Oh yes. <laughs> oh, that almost ended disastrously. Much like all of my LPs. Alright, come on, come on. Yep, my shield is now depleted. So, the remaining enemy ships have given up and are heading back to the planet. Looks like you were just too much for them. With the shield depleted, the next shot would have killed me, whether from front or behind. And I didn't even bother counting how it was, um, or how many it took. Well, let's go back to the cockpit view. Oh man, oh man, you really showed those bozos a thing or two. Now, can we get something to eat? Yeah, can we? I mean, you just puked up your monolith burger about an hour ago. We informed the two guys that Lightspeed is no longer functional. They're not overly pleased by this piece of news. What? Now I'm never getting any food. Some rescuer you are. Ungrateful bastard. Hey, what's this thing on the wall? Uh-oh. It says, Lightspeed Maintenance Access Panel. Gee, maybe I can fix this bucket of plastic bolts. Yeah, this is it. This fan belt thing came off of this brown thing. It was on. Just a second. Wait a second. Okay, she's all fixed. Let's go grab a burger. Wait, isn't there something we do before we initiate light speed? Too late you realize that you have no course light in. The light engines kick in before you can override. You inform the two guys that light speed is now functional, but it's out of control. They're not overly pleased with this bit of news either. <laughs> ah! We're gonna die! Oh no, why'd I get up this morning? Mommy! So, werewolf, careening blindly through space, your ship speeds toward a sizable black hole. One within the gravitation, once within the gravitation of the black hole, there's no escape. You plunge into destiny. Welp, game over, I guess. This kind of, you know, 
not really many of the deaths were animated in this game. I mean, yeah, some of them, but, you know, we're shown going into the black hole. The overwhelming force of the black hole draws your ship in. Help us do anything, you and your passengers strap in and hope for the best. So as we're slowly crushed into nothingness, you're in her blackness like no other you have ever experienced. All sense of time and speed are lost. And life? You died, right? Suddenly, a bright light becomes visible in the distance. It grows larger as your ship races toward it. Finally, you are hurled out of the blackness into a parallel universe. Oh, great. Alright, where are we going? You cut the engine to sub-light speed as you near a seemingly habitable planet. God, that planet looks stupid. Bet the, bet the creatures there are really fucked up or something. Hail, can we go? Oh look, we're landing right in front of Sierra. Who the funk? Okay, so we're in front of Sierra's offices in Oak Ridge, California, I believe. Oak Crest. I remember. But there's Ken Williams. Greetings, Earthling. We're the two guys from Andromeda, universally famous software authors. Okay. And I am Roger Wilkos, space age frostbuckler and all around nice guy. He really is. Hello, I'm Ken Williams, president and founder of Sierra Online. So, you two guys are software authors, huh? Where are your credits? Ever heard of Astro Chicken? No. Good! <laughs> How about you two guys coming to work for me? Sounds great. How many Bugazoids does it pay? Bugazoids? Say, uh, Mr. Williams, do you need a janitor? No. And our space saga comes to a close. Roger, feeling a little left out, struts off to his ship with the satisfaction of knowing his mission has been accomplished. Yay. The two guys from Andromeda go on to create the Space Quest series of adventure games, reaping fame and fortune. They grow fat on their success and soon become burnt out and begin a drunken tailspin into obscurity. No, well, that's a great thing. And so we bid our hero a fond farewell as his ship once again bursts into light speed. Course unknown. No, you have to know your course or else you'll get put into another black hole. Ah, screw it. The end! And of course, as usual, I didn't get all the points. Thanks to the following for the cooperation in the making of this game, Pesco and Department of Forestry. Really? Monolith Synthetic Industries, Inc. Fester's World of Wonders. <laughs> Chipazoid Novelties. I don't want to thank them. They don't know the meaning of the word free. Flaybutt Sand Advisory Council. Arnoid Droid Works. Ha. Uh, Caffeinate 90. Okay. Can I have some? Orbo Snack Food Inhalers. Hmm, that would be kind of cool. I am kind of hungry right now. Friends of the Talking Bear Society. Wait, what? Mark Sieber and Bob Seisenberg and Stuart Goldstein for their astounding sound work. Doug Oldfield, Ken Koch, and Chris Smith for a great programming effort. Mike, to the people nobody scum would also like to thank Robert E. Bobbitt Hyden. Um, very special thanks to the two bays from Andromeda, our wives, for putting up with us this last 12 months. My coworker will kill me if she finds out I mispronounced her last name. You, for shelling out your hard-earned bucks to buy this game. Thanks to the following for their cooperation in the making of... Oh, this repeats. So, that is Space Quest 3. Where will Roger Wilco go next? Will I actually be able to get ahead like I want to? Or will I just be stuck in some kind of time loop forever? 
to find out this and more in Space Quest 4. It's been Vealer, I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you have fun.